When we have a new nurse that starts here at Christiana Care, they are given 10 hours in our simulation lab for some practical application of the content that they learn in nursing orientation. And so today we would like to show uh, the practical application of content that we learn in the fourth day of nursing orientation on an alcohol withdrawal patient. Here we have JB. He is a 40-year-old male admitted for alcohol abuse with a history of alcohol abuse and cirrhosis. His very worried mother is with him but doesn't understand why he has such bad luck. In uh, scenario number one, you will find a checklist of tasks that you should accomplish within this simulation. My name is Jenna. I'm going to be your nurse today. My name is Megan. I'll also be taking care of you. Oh, okay. Hi, are you Mrs. B? I'm his mother, yes. Hi. Um, we're going to just take a um, look at, listen at him, assess him, um, just see what's going on with him, and then if you have any questions, just let us know. I just don't know why these things happen to him. He lost his job, and his wife left, and now he's here. He just has such bad luck. Okay, um, can, can you guys give me something to drink? Um, we're just going to assess you real quick, and then we'll go from there. we got to check your orders to see if you have anything ordered um, for you to drink or eat, okay? okay. All right. Can, um, I get, can I get a beer? Um, you can't have a beer right now. Can you tell me your full name and date of birth? J.B. Um, October 1, 1969. Okay. And do you know where you are right now? Yeah, I'm at Christiana Hospital. Okay, great. All right, so we're just going to assess you, um, ask you some questions about your um, alcohol history, how many drinks you have on a daily basis, okay? How often do you have a drink containing alcohol? This could be beer, wine, or liquor. Uh, most, most days. Most days? Okay. How often during the last year have you found that you weren't able to stop drinking once you started? Well, I, I just drink till I'm not thirsty anymore. Okay. Mr. B, I see you're sweating. Are you having any fullness in your head? No, I just, I just don't feel good. Okay. His pulse was 122. Blood pressure, 165 over 89. Okay, Mr. B, we're going to put a call out to the doctor, okay? Hopefully get something that's going to help you settle down. Okay. Okay? Okay, so now we're going to debrief and talk a little bit about how the simulation went. So can you, talk, can you tell me some things that you think went well with the simulation? Um, I think we did a good job of assessing the patient, um, addressing his needs and especially the mother we addressed her we didn't completely ignore her um, we told her what we were doing as well as the patient um, I think we did a good job of using the forms that we had and going down the list and answering each question I think we did good because we were attentive to the patient and also the mother but I think we could have done better in addressing his emotional needs and the mother's but at that mm -hmm. point in time we were just focused on getting our assessment done Mm -hmm. Initially, I think you both did a really, a really good job um, with your assessment of the patient and uh, really getting um, an accurate uh, CWA score on the patient. Um, one thing I did notice uh, when assessing the patient, you want to make sure that you ask the questions in a way that the patient is going to understand. So, um, terms like delirium tremens, a patient may not understand that. So you want to uh, maybe just say, do you feel shaky? Um, but otherwise, I think things went very well. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome.